that's pretty weird, isn't it? Working from home. Moral responses to the pandemic. What does George Floyd's killing mean for British society? That's the clap for carers. The hate crime bill is, I'm going to call it for the rest of the evening. Donald Trump suggested maybe bleach was a great cure for coronavirus. Is it time to reopen our schools? A silly solar panel uh, subsidy is just what the mafia likes. International disorder. The 10-point plan, four building back better. The riots which broke out in late May and early June of this year. Questions slash comments slash observations. What is the exit plan for this? How, how big do the panellists think um, the influence of money has on this? And I wonder to what extent our response has been framed by language of panic and fear and the idea that you know, there is no alternative to a certain scenario. Do we have to redefine here now during COVID what antisocial means and what isn't antisocial? What is a rebellion and what is just being an ass? <laughs> an entire city in plentitude from many different angles. But as somebody who's very new to the uh, uh, book club, has disliked the other books <laughs> intensely, <laughs> could I say that uh, Helen gave a wonderful introduction to a really wonderful book? <laughs> Baby, 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 don't leave me. Tonight I've been trying to talk, tried to talk about internationalism and globalization. Everywhere I have been looking, um, there has been a very much a new tone. That they are prepared indeed to put themselves, their very lives at greater risk by protesting. I think there is more to life than just being alive. But if a creative response is what's required, then who better than creatives to make it? It's so interesting to go back and to, you know, read kind of what feminists were saying about the family. I don't want to throw the baby out of the bathwater. I don't want to get rid of all trust. I don't want to be cynical about every statement that every institution makes. And this is important. We give this pristine image of Britain. It's crossed between East Enders and Brideshead Revisited. David, if you could unmute yourself. I've got the power to unmute you, so don't attempt to do it yourself, it's futile. If I can unmute you, that's a strange thing. Can you unmute yourself? Hi, my husband's just done the tape for me, thank you. Let's be honest, this is a historic occasion, largely because in the whole of lockdown, I've not managed to chair one Zoom debate for the Academy of Ideas. Discussion and different views are being stifled. It can be an open, honest conversation. Uh, it is important for us in the 21st century not to take democracy for granted. If we approach this debate in the right way, it doesn't have to be a zero-sum game. Oh, I've, I've, I've been offended. Sorry, everyone, but that's it. I've been offended. I think if people can stop shutting down debates and focus on winning them through arguments, through points, rather through ideas. So we have to understand those things that have changed and those things that remain the same. Stop the conversation of new normal, this political rhetoric that people keep using, because it's driving me nuts, by the way. As you can tell, I'm a passionate Welshman. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.